My name is Christy Boys. I am a lieutenant with the Westboro Fire Department, and I wanted to talk to you about the Department of Fire Services Skin Cancer Screening Program. So I have a uh, unique story that I would like to share with you guys. So uh, much like all you guys, I get the emails all the time about when the programs are going to happen and, and when they are, and I don't typically pay too much attention to them. But for whatever reason, I noticed uh, in April of last year, there was a program. It was in my area. I was on duty that day. Uh, we were we were actually fully staffed, so I would have the opportunity to sneak away. So I signed up for it through the LMS service, and uh, I, I asked the captain, and he's like, "Yeah, sure, take one of the cars." Uh, I was it was down in Stowe. I ran down there for what I thought would be just a quick little uh, skin skin screening, and uh, I had quite the experience there. So what happened was, if you've never been to a skin cancer screening, what happens is uh, they uh, take you in and they line you up. And the doctor's using typically a bunk room or a secluded area in the station where they will they'll have you do the paperwork. They'll bring you in. You can show as much skin or as little skin as you feel comfortable with. The doctor will come in. She'll make small talk. She'll, she'll check your skin. She's looking for uh, different spots or marks that are of concern to her. And uh, as we were going through the procedure, she gets to my back and she stops. And she uh, stops making small talk and got real serious for a minute. And she said, why, uh, how long has that spot on your back been? And I'm like, well, doc, it's on my back. I, mean, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So she asked me for my phone. So I dug my phone out of the pile of clothes that was on the floor. And I gave her my phone and she took a couple pictures. And she showed me the spot that was dead center between my shoulder blades. And she said, well, the spot's really concerning. And it's concerning for a number of reasons. If you look at it, there's uh, no other spots on your back except for this one. It is not symmetrical. And it's changing colors. Those are those are three big things we look for, and um, very concerned about this. And we need to get that biopsied. And that was kind of the end of the exam right there. We didn't really go much further. There was um, I just got dressed. I went out. And she gave me the paperwork, and she said to me, uh, "My office will be in touch with you with a, within 24, 48 hours. We're going to schedule a biopsy for you." This was April 12th of last year. So I walked out of there kind of feeling a little uneasy. I'm like, "Ooh, this is kind of weird." Well, you know, better safe than sorry. I'm sure it's fine. And, you know, uh, who knows if they're even going to call me for this biopsy. Who, who knows? So, sure enough, very next day, I got a call from Dr. Candler's office, and they said, that, hey, we need to bring you in for a biopsy, and can you come in on the 18th, which would have been almost less than a week than my initial uh, skin screen. So I did. I went down to her office in North Andover. She did the biopsy, and I had, a, I had so many questions, but she couldn't really answer the questions because she didn't want to talk out of place without the biopsy. She really wanted to let the test results speak for themselves. Well, 48 hours, give or take after that, I got a phone call at home from Dr. Candler, and she confirmed um, what I actually already knew or suspected. It was skin cancer. So I went from knowing nothing about skin cancer to researching the heck out of skin cancer in, in a couple hours. And what I learned was it comes in stages. So stage zero is your cancer in your infancy. Stage five is, is, uh, is really bad. So what she detected on me was a stage zero, borderline stage one. So it was technically in its infancy. And the doctor reiterated that when she called me. She's like, listen, this is a textbook case of early detection. So because it was detected so early, there is a 99.9% .9 survival rate based on what they have to do. However, they needed to act quickly. So they needed to do surgery. And she said, well, we need to take you in. Can you come in Tuesday? After I got the call from Dr. Candler, uh, my wife came home from work. I'm like, hey, remember how I had that spot? We had a biopsy and it was probably nothing. Turns out it was something. Um, but the good news is, is the doctor's very confident that we can deal with this and put this behind us. But just so you know, I'm going in for surgery next week and I'm going to be kind of on light duty restricted for about two weeks until I heal. So then I came down and talked to Chief Purcell. Um, he wasn't in. I talked to him on the phone. I'm like, hey, listen, Chief, this is the uh, situation. He was, uh, he was kind of floored like I was. He's like, wow. Um, but he was like, Chris, whatever you need. And the Westboro Fire Department and Chief Purcell stood behind me 100%. Uh, that would have been the following week. So start to finish from the day I walked in for my screen to the day I walked in for surgery was two weeks. So she cut it out. There was a very large incision in my back. There was a lot of stitches. I was on restricted duty for two weeks. So when they took that chunk out of me and they sent it to pathology, what they were looking to do is find healthy tissue all the way around in a 360 degree area from what they did. And fortunately, the doctor called me probably and then another 48 hours after that and said, good news, we have healthy tissue all the way around. This is behind you. Focus on healing. 
moving forward, every three months now, I, I, I don't know the exact specifics, but because I had one um, spot, the likelihood of me getting a second one is greater. So now every three months, I go down to Dr. Candler's office and I get a skin, skin screening. So I feel fortunate. I feel fortunate that the Fire Academy's early detection program found this. I'm glad they found it when they did. As Dr. Candler says, the word she uses is infancy. And that's truly what it was. It was truly a textbook case of early detection. So if I can say one other thing is to get the screening. It's easy. It's free. They have them all over the state. There's, there's, there's probably a firehouse. If it's not your home firehouse, there's probably a firehouse in the surrounding area that you could get it done. It takes like 10 minutes.